Hello, beautiful souls. How y'all doing? If you're new here, welcome. I'm Brainy, and this is Brainy Twin Gemini. If you're returning sub, welcome back. Love to have part of our soul tribe and our loving vibe. A little bit about me personally. I'm a messenger on this beautiful journey of love, pure, raw, vulnerable, twin flame, twin soul, love, however it resonates in your heart. I crossed paths with my twin for, I want to say, a good t couple of decades. We were at the same place at the same time and never acknowledged each other in the third dimensional world. And then in 2019, we came to each other in physical. We had pure, raw, vulnerable bubble love. And then we sailed off into our sunsets to complete our healing work and the awakening process. As I alluded to, I'm merely just a messenger, a friend, a guide on this journey. There's many imposters out there. In 2019, I was really, really pushed heavily into coming out with the truth, as there are so many myths out there. Um, so again, thank you for joining. I predominantly do masculine energy. I write everything down in a journal each and every day. I feel like that's a very, very strong key component of this GPS on this journey. And what I would say is, if um, you can, a uh, journal is a very, very good way to externalize the internalized emotion. So I'm going to get started with a message. Many, many, many things going on in this collective universe right now as it resonates for twin flames. It, you know, take what resonates, pack away what doesn't, um, kindly do not disrupt the vibe of the channel. If you have feedback for me personally, then send me an email. I will welcome it with an open, loving heart. If there's any negative annotations or comments, I'll just simply remove them from the channel. As for personal messages, I am about five weeks behind. So I'm doing messages from September the 20th. I believe we're October the 24th today. I had a little bit of a setback because I was clearing some, I want to say chakras, primarily third eye and the throat. So it set me back about a week or so. And if, if you're waiting longer than that, just send me an email. It might've gotten lost in the email vortex. So again, a lot going on with the uh, masculine energy. And one thing that's very, very, I want to say dominant or prominent in the masculine energy right now is a few things. Very, very good things. Just a reminder to you that energy is not static. It changes from time to time. And I don't often know if these messages are for one, ten, a thousand, a uh, hundred thousand, wh whatever it may be. So if it's not happening at this moment of your time, maybe this is um, not your message. So again, this is a journey of faith, truth, and self-love. So... Um, but one thing that really stands out um, for the masculine energy right now is a few things. So they're getting off that Ferris wheel of, I want to say, life, toxicity. What does that really mean? They're, they're closing, they're getting out of some cycles that they continue to perpetuate. Um, we tend to you know, perpetuate the same cycles over and over again until those lessons are learned. But that masculine is getting off, like I said, that fer ferris, that toxic ferris wheel of life. And a lot of it has to do with um, revisiting our past and the trauma of our past. I did a video about letting go of the past. And it, I feel like I do these, these, um, these messages in these videos to help you overcome any obstacles that you may be encountering in your journey of life. So check it out. Um, it's totally for you. Um, yeah, so they've gotten off that cycle of, like I said, of toxicity. And the, I want to say the internal prison that they put themselves in by revisiting the trauma of the past and reliving it over and over. And they've forgiven many, many people that they used to harbor bitterness for. That is a huge, huge milestone. 
harboring bitterness and the inability to forgive is the inability to move forward in your journey of self-love. It's easy to harbor those feelings. As a result, um, many doors are opening for this masculine energy. Um, some masculine energy, was they were bound by financial constraints. And this is one of those mysteries or secrets that they kept from you, Divine Feminine. Uh, they didn't want to tell you how bad things were um, financially, but they were in, I want to say, deep water as it related to financial constraints. The door is opening. Abundance is coming that way for that masculine. And I'm super, super, super happy um, because there's, and that's one of those cycles too. Um, that we were we perpetuate in our thought and the chatter and the noise of the mind so sometimes when you have financial constraints you you know think about it over and over and over again um, worrying and allowing that chatter in your mind isn't going to make it go away living in the moment right now really has tremendous power of changing things so 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 happy for them a couple of other things with this masculine um they're curious about their divine feminine and again remember that this is just energy don't get caught in that spiritual trap of your your female so you're automatically of feminine energy we all have masculine and feminine energy within us and we're meant to restore that equilibrium with each energy um, we predominantly navigate our journey of life with one energy but you come in to stabilize each other and each other's energy but the masculine is very curious they know that this love is twin flames like they know this this knowledge came to them it fell on their lap because for whatever reason they and just like you feminine they um always have that love in their heart and they always have this like question and this reconciliation why like why so i think someone in their soul tribe might have told them you know maybe this is your twin flame or your twin soul so as a result this masculine has been hungry for knowledge on twin flames they totally resonate with that connection and they're curious about you. If you have mutual connections, uh, mutual friends, they're asking your mutual connections what you're up to, if you're with anyone. And because this masculine is not going to come in and disrupt anything that you have going on in your life at this present moment. So they're just curious if you're in a relationship, what you're doing, how you're doing, so if you have mutual connections or reaching out to them and also to if you know social media accounts if you have social media accounts some of you may not but if you do this masculine is um kind of like creeping your social media if you've blocked this particular masculine they've created fake accounts um to check to see what you're up to because now that they've come to that resolution of what this connection is, they are really truly being pu pushed to really truly make a move. As I said, there's this month has been a dynamic month, the month of October. There is so much purification, clearing, cleansing, um, reunion every single day. There's a message on this channel of two beautiful souls navigating towards each other and i had this vision at the beginning of the month and what i visualize is just you finding your way back to each other and it's so so beautiful the one thing is too is the masculine is doing a lot of grounding so they're getting out and grounding their energy and when they ground their energy there's this magic that comes through them this earth's magic and this magic is giving them so much wisdom and knowledge. Um, I feel like there's gifts and blessings around your connection right now. This masculine thinks you're an absolute goddess, a princess, a queen, an empress. As 
all of these pieces of this puzzle start fitting together, all of this wisdom and this knowledge comes to this masculine um, energy, and it's absolutely wonderful and beautiful. If they could say anything to you at this moment, remembering we live in the moment. We don't live in the past. We don't live in the future. And I say it all the time. The past creates depression. The future creates anxiety. And if the, the more you live in this moment, the more you free the chatter of your mind, tr truly. Um, so, so good, good, good. And they're on this, this, this journey, this soul journey um, back to you. So they're, they're journeying back to you. Um, and I love it. It's the soul is not visible. And we bind ourselves to, well, I want to say, physical elements of this world. It's the world we live in. And it's attaching ourselves to all of these third dimensional objects. Letting go of these attachments is freeing and purifying yourself. I've get, I get questions where, how do I know if the purification um, process is complete? When am I coming into my twin flame? Is this my twin flame? I will never answer those questions because the, the deeper and further you navigate to the journey of inner, I want to say, healing and wisdom and just pure cleanliness and purification, those answers will come to you. I'm merely just a friend and a guide to help you get there um, and lead you on the path to yourself. But I'll never give you those answers. And if somebody is, I would be very, very skeptical because you are your own navigation system. And sometimes when the, that in interference comes in to your life, into your aura, into your orbit, it takes you on a different route. And that route is further from yourself. So always, always listen to the voice of your heart and what your guide is telling you, which is ultimately your intuition, your higher self. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, so again, let's get back to um, the message as of the moment. Well, first and foremost, they know that you're their counterpart, they're, um, that this, this is your twin souls, and they, they know that, so they want you to know that. Um, they also want you to know that I'm going through a fourth spiritual awakening. I feel like I'm losing control. Please be patient with me. This is a journey of and an awakening. It's forced. It's not voluntary. And you feel like m many times throughout the journey that you're losing control. Uh, you're not losing control. You're actually getting closer to who you truly are. But when you do, it's scary. Really, really scary. So they want you to know that. And... They lay awake manifesting um, our love, like your love. So they do. Believe it or not, they do. Excuse me, I don't want to have a coughing attack here. Um, and also, too, they wish you were next um, to... I wish you were next to me. I miss you. So absolutely, that's the curiosity. That's them asking what you're up to. Maybe creeping your social media accounts under a fake account. Because they truly do miss you. Their heart yearns for you as much as yours yearns for them. And despite what others say out there, this is a journey of faith and truth and true authenticity. And if, as I said, people are steering you to a different, um, I want to say, tra road to travel, then um, you're, you're stuck and that's the interference. Rely on your own wisdom and the faith and the love in your heart. The ultimate journey and the end destination is self-love and freeing yourself of the rubbish chatter of your mind and just pure self-love. Because when you get to that self-love, you become a magnet to love and you radiate love and you attract love so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And this is always, always comes out. And it, it is, with, with them being curious, knowing the truth of this, the beauty of this connection, um, they've tried, they want you to know, I've tried so many times to communicate, but the fear is binding me. Um, 
that is one of those things, you know, the fear of rejection. Sometimes not knowing is better than knowing, believe it or not, because you cherish and savor that love that you both share. And um, sometimes pushing that send button, you almost don't want to know. Um, and they really have tried many, many, many times. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I feel gifts and blessings are on the horizon for many of you. Um, and I'm so happy for you. I, I pray each and every night for all of your beautiful, beautiful, loving souls in hopes that you come back into the harmony in, of each other. There's nothing more beautiful. You have together, you can conquer the world. Ultimately, what we do is we awaken the masses of all of these sleeping, low vibrational souls. We're not meant to navigate our journey in a low vibration. We're meant to navigate in a high vibration. And that's what you do. You're a disciple of love. And it's beautiful. Two more messages for you, beautiful, loving souls. And it is, my love is like an ocean, forever longing for your shore. You are an internal ocean of love. I close my eyes and my heart is filled with rose quartz light. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And from a physical perspective, some relationships may seem less than perfect. Yet from a higher perspective, all relationships are sacred for they each help us grow to love in love. Sorry, to grow in love and wisdom. And that's exactly what this journey is about, to grow in love and wisdom. And the more you love and let go and forgive, believe it or not, that's when the wisdom truly, truly takes over. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. If you're not new, you know that I believe that when you come in together, you're completely awakened to signs and synchronicities. That is a key element to this particular journey. You, you just awaken up to them and they are delivered to you at the most divine time. Numbers, license plates could be someone that looks like your twin, music. There's so many elements. And ultimately, I, I firmly believe that nature's messengers, animals, birds, insects, whatever it may be, they fly upon you or come upon you at the most divine time. They are little messengers, believe it or not, and they're there to carry a very divine message for you. Um, so today, the animal spirit message for the feminine energy is dragonfly spirit and truth transcends illusion. It's a very, very, very important message because truth does transcend illusion. You know, um, sometimes, as I said earlier, we put um, a lot of clout into the third dimensional world when the truth transcends so much more. And the truth is, and faith is your GPS on this journey. When you start questioning and letting go of the faith in your heart, then that's when you remain stuck and blocked in this connection. Always navigate your journey with unwavering faith and you will see the magic um, in the end. And for masculine spirit, it is canary spirit and sing your own song. And believe it or not, this masculine, after they, got, they have gotten off this toxic, I want to say Ferris wheel, of perpetual cycles and grounding themselves in nature they're just like and they know that this connection is real that's so huge for them um it's not a fabrication in their head and an, an unhealthy obsession like they thought it was once was so they're singing their own song and they're navigating their own journey and maybe today music has a very significant meaning for you both so that's what I have for your beautiful, loving souls. Thank you so much for watching this to the very end. If any of this resonates, kindly subscribe if you haven't already. Like and comment. Tell, you know, tell me about your journey. What are you struggling with? Um, share 
Is there something specific that, a specific video that you want me to do? Just share in the comments. Love, love, love to hear your comments. Have a beautiful day, folks.